former neo-Nazi who turned to Islam will not be getting out of a Hillsborough County jail. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. 18-year-old Devin Arthurs is accused of killing his two roommates and then kidnapping three people. Tonight, the Southern Poverty Law Center is extremely concerned about what police found after the murders. Jeff Patterson joins us now live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse to sort of explain everything that happened today. Jeff? Yeah, good evening, Jen. The Southern Poverty Law Center Center monitors hate groups, and they are now keeping a close eye on this case because police tell us it involves a racist hate group with access to high explosives. Devin Arthurs? He's just 18 years old. In court, Devin Arthurs yawned and rolled his eyes as a judge read the serious charges against him. Two counts of murder and three counts of kidnapping. Police tell us Arthur's confessed to killing his two roommates, Jeremy Himmelman and Andrew Wanschuk, claiming he recently converted to Islam, and his neo-Nazi roommates didn't respect that. In their Tampa Palms apartment, police found a poster of Timothy McVeigh and chemicals that could be used to make a high explosive, similar to the one Timothy McVeigh used to blow up the federal building in Oklahoma City. Another roommate, Brandon Russell, is being held on federal charges related to the explosives found in this condo. All of it is a concern to the Southern Poverty Law Center. And any time that you involve racist ideologies with explosive devices or the means to take massive amounts of human life, uh, it's, I mean, it's a serious, serious worry. Family members deny the victims were part of any neo-Nazi group. But the Southern Poverty Law Center is concerned by everything court records show was found in the apartment. The poster of McVeigh and the chemicals. You know, when people start talking about Timothy McVeigh and w when they're in possession of some very serious chemicals that can be used to make bombs, uh, it's of tremendous concern. There's nothing, nothing to dismiss about it. Yeah, the Southern Poverty Law Center really does believe this case is a big deal. Brandon Russell is scheduled to appear in federal court tomorrow uh, at a hearing concerning his release. And Devin Arthurs is scheduled for yet another hearing tomorrow morning here in Hillsborough County. Of course, Jen will be keeping a close eye on both. Of course. And, and Jeff, we understand that one of the victims showed up in court for Arthurs' hearing today. Do we know how that victim is doing? Yes, yeah, she did show up here in court. Let's not forget, Jen, that three people were held at gunpoint. Their lives threatened during all of this. I spoke to one of the people who was held at gunpoint. She's very shaken by all of this, too shaken, she told me, to go on camera to talk about it. I can certainly understand that. Jeff Patterson, live for us in Hillsborough County. Jeff, thank you.